Um, good morning. So today I would like to use this song again to share with you my thoughts on it and how it has spoken to me. This song is called Waymaker and we have been singing it at Driving Church and online. And one night I was out for a walk again and I was listening to the song and it kind of just summed up what I've been thinking about that day, which I will explain about in a little minute. Firstly, I want to say that I absolutely love this song. The very first line of it, the song says, You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you, I worship you. The first thing that, the, that it does is acknowledge that God is right here and we are to worship him. The next sign is, you are here working in this place. I worship you, I worship you. I could go on and read more lines of the song, but I want to explain why I chose to share it with you this morning and what my thoughts were to why it spoke to me. I was out and about the last couple of weeks doing a few messages and at times I would bump into people I knew and we, we, and we would start chatting or I would talk to the shop assistants. But the one common theme of everything was the virus. Now you're probably thinking, well that's pretty obvious and a natural topic and of yes, of course it is. It has affected so many aspects of our lives, has limited so many things and still is. But what actually got to me and frustrated me was how negative some were. No matter how the conversation went or whatever we were talking about, it got turned into a negative. Now, I know that that is their opinions, but it actually left me walking away feeling really down. And I was at the petitions that week as well, and she explained to me that after a day of appointments, she went into her house and her husband went to talk to her. And she just turned around to him and said, could we not talk for 10 minutes? I've had to listen to so much negativity all day and I just need quiet for a few minutes. Again, this was about the same time that I had to listen to so much as well. And this really struck a chord with me. And I had heard the negativity, some from Christians and also some from those who didn't have a faith. And it got me thinking, that if a world is filled with so much negativity and we are no different, who is going to be the light? It's the question you hear many times and it's the attitude that you're asked. What's your attitude? Is your cup half full or is it half empty? As Christians, I believe that we should be bringing a positive attitude with us. Yes, there are many things going on at the moment that are negative and you yourself may be going through a difficult situation, but we are called to be the light in this dark world, to show that we know that this world is not the end and there is so much more joy that awaits us. When I was thinking about this, a verse came to me, but when I read, um, looked in my Bible and read it, the whole chapter I felt summarise it up. And it's from 2 Corinthians and it's from chapter 4 and I'm going to read it this morning. Therefore, since through God's mercy we have this ministry, we do not lose heart. Rather, we have renounced secret and shameful ways. We do not use deception, nor do we distort the word of God. On the contrary, by setting forth the truth plainly, we commend ourselves to everyone's conscience in the sight of God. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For what we preach is not ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your servants for Jesus' sake. For God who said, Let light shine out in the darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God's glory displayed in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that this all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may be also revealed in our mortal body. So then, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. It is written, I believe, therefore I have spoken. Since we have that same spirit of faith, we also believe and therefore speak. 
because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you to himself. All of this is for your benefit, so that the grace that is reaching more and more people may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of God. Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. So I try my best as much as possible to be a positive person. I'm not saying I always am, but I do try. But when you read this from the Bible, I think it shows you how those who were persecuted still looked forward and pressed on. They didn't lose hope and it challenged me and I hope it challenges you to look at your attitudes and think to yourself, are these really attitudes that encourage others or ones to be proud of? Are they really godly attitudes, attitudes that set us apart from others or not? I have, had, I have heard many times before that others are looking at us to see how different we are, how when others look at us, they should see Christ in us. But if we are constantly negative, how are people going to see that we are different? With this in mind, Waymaker spoke to me a couple of weeks ago, and it still does today. I think it encapsulates so much of who God is. And I could read all of the lyrics to you, but I'm just going to take a couple of snippets out. And I shared with you the first couple of lines, but here's a few more. And it goes on to say, You are Waymaker. Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you. You are here, healing every heart. Healing every heart, oh, I worship you. Jesus, I worship you. You're turning lives around. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. You mended every heart. You are here, and you are mending every heart. I worship you. What amazing and true words these are. God is and continues to be a miracle worker, a promise keeper, and makes a way for so much when we don't see it. He is the light in the darkness, and through Jesus Christ he has and continues to turn lives around. These next words, I think, should challenge us all, as many could be going through things and may start to question why this is happening and what God is doing. But as the song says, even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. Our God never stops working. No matter what is going on in this world, we have been called to share God's amazing grace with others, God's love with others, to be the light in the darkness. I could go on and share more of the lyrics from this song, but just listen to them as James sings it to us. Afterwards, reflect and challenge yourself to be more positive, to think of all the amazing things God has done and continues to do for us. Try to bring that joy of knowing Jesus into all aspects of your life so that others can see that joy and love radiating out of you and know that that hope you have comes from knowing God and trusting in Jesus Christ. You are here, moving in the midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in the midst. I worship you, I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you, I worship you. You are way maker, 
Their equal worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Mending every heart I worship you I worship you You are way maker Miracle worker Promise keeper Light in the darkness My God That is who you are You are way maker Miracle worker Promise keeper Light in the darkness My God that is who you are, 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 that is who you are. You are we make miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are we make Miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are, 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 that is who you are. Even when I don't see it, you're working, even when I don't feel it, you're working, you never stop. You never stop working, you never stop, you never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Even when I don't feel it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, you never stop working. That is who you are. That is who you are. That is who you are. You are we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. You are, we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 You are we make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God. That is who you are. 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 That is who you are.